Dear Maurice, can I call you Maurice? I mean, it feels like we've been friends for a long time now. Uh, of course, you have no idea who I am, but I know you. I remember when I first heard your name. I was watching a rookie report on the NFL Network, and there were tales of this hard-working, overachieving running back out of UCLA with a chip on his shoulder, choosing the number 32 because all 32 NFL teams passed on him, and he was going to show them all that they had missed out on a big one. But of course, you know all this. But that takes us to draft day. I'll never forget it. Fred Taylor was already in place, and he was drafted highly. In fact, Fred being a bit injury prone, even Greg Jones, the fullback, was drafted. That was the big pick that year. Greg Jones was going to be the guy that was going to come in and take the carries when Fred got hurt. I was sitting there sweating bullets, hoping nobody knew who my big sleeper pick was. Finally, the moment came. I grabbed my Sharpie and that piece of paper, wrote it down, walked up to the board where I taped up the pick of Maurice Jones Drew. I'll never forget the paper shuffling and all the mumbles of who? As everybody flipped through their books and their stat sheets, trying to figure out who this guy was, what position he played and what team he was on, and how foolish I could possibly be to draft the third Jacksonville running back off the board that day. Then, you started to prove yourself that rookie year, but I was in a playoff run, and I was loaded with running backs, and I made the mistake of trading you away. Had to give me some Marvin Harrison to try to win it all. Of course, Marvin tanked. I failed, and I looked at the next season, wondering how I let my Maurice Jones Drew get away from me. So promptly, I executed a trade where I got you back. <laughs> a little bit of Jamal Lewis in his last gasp of effectiveness for Cleveland. Yeah, I got Jones Drew back, and I would never let him go. He stayed on my roster right up until I left that league. In fact, he was synonymous with my team. But before I did leave that league, I'd started up a dynasty league. The problem was, with running backs' shelf life being what they are, I came into the draft with a strategy of going wide receiver, wide receiver with my first two picks. So I take Calvin Johnson, and then coming back, Jones Drew was still there. Could I really ditch the strategy I had spent all summer solidifying and go with my heart? I did. Second pick, I picked Jones Drew. Coming back off an injury, he slipped down to 11, and I rode Jones Drew's big comeback season all the way to a title. So tasty, all those years in between. I mean, the great nicknames MJD, Mojo, Pocket Hercules. There was even the time I got a picture of you flexing and photoshopped it so that you were wearing the red jersey to look like you were on my team. Then there was even your wedding. Remember that? Oh, uh, yeah, those pictures on Facebook. I, I, I clicked like on there. Remember that when I did that? Ah, uh, you probably don't. Hell, you're the only non-Pittsburgh Steeler player I've ever liked on Facebook. That's saying something, man. That's saying something. Me and Maurice Jones Drew, together forever, and it felt so good. Which brings us to where we are today. I don't know how to say it, man. I had planned on keeping you right up to retirement. Regardless of age, injury, anything that was thrown at me, I was planning on holding on to you. Even when Jacksonville got bought out by a guy who looks like a goddamn Chia pet who showed up and promptly disrespected my pocket Hercules, well, that wasn't going to deter me. Even when you went to a team that's historically as bad as the Raiders have been, that was not going to deter me. But I'm thin on running backs, my team's getting a little older, and I'm pinched for roster space. And I don't know how to say it, 
but it looks like the time has come. I don't feel good about this. I don't feel good about this at all. But I think it has to be done. So sadly, I would like to thank you for all of our time together. Everything you've brought me. All the good times. But my good man, fantasy, as you know, is a cruel, cruel world. And I'm afraid the time has come for me to move on. But I want you to know you'll always occupy a very special place in my heart. My pocket Hercules. My number 32. A human bowling ball with legs running around and through defenders. Massive runs. Great catches. Even kickoff returns. The man could do it all. For me, no one will ever replace what Maurice Jones Drew has meant to me fantasy-wise. I highly doubt I will ever have a running back that I have such a strong feeling about and improve it so, so right by. So with that being said, I'm afraid I've got to push the button. So long and farewell, my pocket Hercules.